On this architecture speed run, we are going to build a very simple chat app using Deno, Deno Deploy, Oak, and Fresh. And don't worry if you don't know any of those names, we are taking a look into our potential JavaScript future. And all you need are your existing JavaScript and TypeScript skills. Let's get right into it. Okay, so this is Deno. If you don't have Deno installed already, all you need to do is use Homebrew. If you're on an OS X machine, do brew install Deno. It's basically a node interpreter with a few twists as we'll see going forward. And Deno Deploy is a really exciting system that's now in beta one that allows you to go and build web servers really quickly and deploy them really quickly. So let's just try it out. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is create our example application based on this example right here. This is an application that registers an event listener for fetch and then responds with hello world. So this is essentially the hello world of Deno deploy. So let's go and go into our terminal, go to my temp directory, we can create something called Deno chat. And then bring that up in VS code. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is build our API server, right? So I'll call this one Deno Chat API, and that's just a directory. And then in there, I'll create a new file called index.js, which has the contents of this hello world. There you go, okay? So now I'm going to initialize this as a Git repo. I'm going to add all of our existing files using add-a. I'm gonna go and take a look at the status on that. Everything looks good. We got a new file in there, the index, and then I'm gonna commit that. All right, now I don't have this on GitHub at all, so let's go back over and bring up GitHub. And I'll create a new repository. And we'll call this one Deno Chat. I'll create that repository. I'll add it as a remote. And then push to it. GGP is my alias for pushing. If you use oh my zish, you get that for free, I think. All right, so there we go. It's all checked in. And now I want to grab that index.js file and get the URL of that because I want to go over here to the Deno Beta 1 deploy system. This is free. You can use it right now. You just have to sign up for it and do a new project. I'll we'll call this Jahur Deno Chat API. How about that? Just Jahur is me, so there you go. So now let's go over to settings and then under Git, we just give it the URL of that index.js file. And we specify that we want that on the default branch is fine. Link that. And now when we go back over here, we can see that we have a domain, Jahur Deno Chat API, which is the name I gave it, .deno.dev. Let's just open that up. Hello world, boom, just like that. Literally that easy. Okay, so now let's try this again. Let's say hello world, second try. I just wanna see how fast this updates, right? And I'm not cutting any time out of this video, by the way. There's no node modules getting downloaded or any of that. I'm not cutting any time. Okay, let's do get that add dash a again, commit it. We'll call this one second update so that we can see that name, second update. Now I'm gonna push to GitHub and that's updated GitHub. So let's go back over here to Deno Chat API and we can see that our first commit was committing the API. And now we are deployed second update. So it's a refresh and literally that's it. We are deployed. How freaking cool is that? Okay, now the first thing I wanted to get into was Oak. So obviously this is not a particular fun way to write a web server. You know, there's no routing, there's nothing like that. But there is this system called Oak and it does have routing built, baked into it. So let's go and take a look over at Oak. And so this is the basic application frame. So let's go grab out this much and paste it in there. And that's how you do an import in Deno is you actually import it from a URL. You don't import it from a node module. There's no package JSON. There's no node modules, any of that. Okay, so now we've got our app and it's going to, let's see, do a hello world third try. Not really that we're trying, we're actually succeeding. And we need to go and hook that into Deno. 
So the way that we do that is instead of doing this fetch here, we just say app.fetch event handler. Just like that. Okay, again, let's do git add, git commit. And then push it. Awesome. Let's go take a look. Third update. And there it is. Boom, just like that now. So now we're on Oak. And Oak, as I mentioned, has routing. So let's go and search for router. And I will go and copy and paste parts of this. I'll bring in router from our imports. And look how this is exactly like we would do in JavaScript, right? And in TypeScript. Same sort of thing, very easy. So let's go and copy and paste this whole section in here. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is kind of change this into a chat app. Now we could do this in TypeScript, but then I'd have to just go and change that file name and then go change it in, in Git. I'll show you TypeScript when it comes to fresh. Okay, so do messages here. And that's just going to be a an array. And we'll say this is a chat server on our slash route. We'll get messages here. And then on here, this is the get version of it. So we'll just return messages. And then we want to post to messages to go and add one, right? So we're going to go and return the existing messages, but we also want to push one. And the way that we do that is to first get the message. I was going to say message. And to do that, we need to await the context request body value, just like that. And but we have to make this an async function to do that. So let's go do that async. And then we're just going to push that message onto the messages. Okay, so let's push this up. So make that chat server update one and then push it. And when I go over here, we got our chat server update one, excellent. And we we're deployed, chat server, awesome. Okay, cool. So uh, the next thing we wanna do is create our Fresh app to actually post messages to that. So the Fresh app is gonna be essentially like our Next.js client app. So let's go and create another terminal. And I've already installed Fresh, but I'll take a look and show you how to do that. So over here, there is an install for Fresh, and that just gives you a, a Fresh CLI. So I'm gonna do Fresh init my project. We'll call this one over here, Fresh init, and we'll call it Deno Chat Client. All right, great. How fast was that? That's super, super fast, super awesome. Okay, so there's a couple of different ways you can run it. You can run it, obviously you can deploy it and we will do that, but I wanna also show you deploy control, which is a local, a way to do this locally. So let's do deploy control on main.ts inside that Deno chat client. Okay, there you go. So there it is. There's our fresh app and we can actually do some client side stuff, but we don't wanna really do any of that. What we wanna do is we wanna do a chat, a little bit of a chat app. So let's go down to pages and index. Let's see what we've got here. Okay, we got this neat little home and a counter. So let's get rid of the counter, don't need that. We have a use state, we're also gonna need, this is Preact actually, so it all it works like React, but it's a, it's a lot smaller, which is great. So the first thing we need to do is define what a message is. So let's create an interface for message. Say that we have a piece of text, which is a string. That'll be our message, crazy that. And then in here, we're gonna keep a list of those messages. So let's see, const messages and set messages is the use state. We'll start off with an empty array and that's gonna be an array of messages. Cool. And now let's do a use effect in here and we'll load up those messages on startup. So on startup is an empty dependency array. And then we'll just call get messages, which we need to define. 
So we'll create a use callback here called get messages. And we'll make this an asynchronous function so we can use await. So let's go and await the response of a post. So we'll do an await of a fetch to our chat server. And we're just going to hit production on this. And that's going to be messages, right? And with that, we've got our response. And now we want to get our data. So we want to do data is the await of the response, JSON, just like that. And we'll just set our messages to that data. Ta-da! OK, and let's go over here, and we will do a stringify. as the output. All right, cool. And let's take a look. OK, awesome. We get an empty array. That's that's great. Perfect. Except is it really perfect? Let's go take a look. All right, over here in the console. Oh, we can see that we're actually blocked on a cores issue. So so Oak does allow for cores. And it's a system called Oak cores. So let me just bring it in. And then all you need to do to use it is come down here and say app.use. Oh, cores, and if you just leave it open like that, then you're good. Okay, so let's go and redeploy that as our cores server. Okay, and it looks like we're good to go. We're all deployed, and that's great. We're not getting error messages in the console. So now all we need to do is go and just make ourselves an input and post to that messages. So let's give it a try. All right, so I need to also track a value, some text. And let's go make ourselves an input and a button. Got our button, so let's go and do an on click, where you say on send message. All right, cool, and let's go make our call. So it's a callback. Again, it's going to be an asynchronous function because it's going to do a post. It's going to depend on the text, so it's always going to be updating depending on what the text is. And then let's do a response here. Let's just actually just optimistically say that we're going to make this work. But we need to also say that this is a method post, that the body is a json.stringify of text, just like that. And then the headers, we are going to say that we our content type is application JSON. OK, cool. All right, let's give it a try. All right, check this out. Now we'll add it. And we're getting a response from the server. Okay, next thing we want to do is just really easily set the text to empty and also then call get messages. And that'll make it feel a little bit more like a chat system. Perfect. Awesome. So one more thing that I want to show you over on the API side that makes this even crazy cooler is let's take a look over at the Deno deploy site again and take a look down here at broadcast channel. So this is really cool. This actually allows all of these little Deno deploy nodes that are created for us that we don't know about to actually create a channel and communicate between each other. So let's try that out. Let's actually go and create a, a channel called chat on our server. And then within that, we're going to get a message. And 
And that message, when we get it, we're just going to add that data that we, is in the message to our list of chat messages. So basically what happens is if one node gets a new chat message, then it's going to broadcast that out to all the other nodes, and they're just going to update their versions of the chat history with that new chat message. And the only thing we need to do to do, make that happen is to actually broadcast that message. So I'd go take a look down here, and there's channel.postmessage. And we can just do the same thing, channel.postmessage. And that's it. Now, anywhere these little deno nodes are, they will connect with each other and get that going. So let's do add dash a and commit that. We'll call that you know, broadcast chat. I'll push that up. But while we're at it, let's actually go and deploy out our deno chat client as well and see if that works. So let's go back over to our GitHub page. And we'll go here to deno chat and then go within that the deno chat client. And we're going to need main.ts. And we'll grab the URL for that and then go back over here into our projects. Do a new project and then say jahur chat client. Create that. Go to git. Paste in our GitHub URL. Use the default branch. And there you go. It actually did. It took a couple of times to work. This is beta software, so yeah, that, that's to be expected in a way. OK, now let's go over here to Jira, Jira chat client. And we can see that we're actually up and running. So let's do production chat and add that. Very cool. And now if I were to go and create another tab, so whatever API node that hits for Deno Deploy gives us back the messages because all those messages are kept in sync by the broadcast channel. It's super cool stuff. Well, I hope you enjoy this architecture speed run. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to put those in the comments section down below or jump on my Discord server and have a chat there. In the meantime, feel free to hit that like button if you like the video. And of course, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this one.